Hello there, my name's Nick Brett, and I'm the guy that played that bowl. Well, he's very close to splitting the two red balls and getting to the jack. That's what the target is. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is just so good. It is ridiculous. And here we are today, trying to reenact exactly what I did. But please remember, we're outdoors, not indoors, so we're likely to miss quite a bit. Here goes, first one. It was the first set of the indoor world pairs final against um, Alex and Paul, playing with my good friend, Mr. Harlow. I think we've played them in the final ooh, at least twice. So yeah, tough. I think the game was pretty close at the time. They were holding. Greg's. Greg's asked me to try and get in between a small gap. Um, during that, the crowd laughed as much as to say he's going to be nowhere near this. And to be fair, it wasn't the easiest shot in the world, but normally you just arrive to it, get off the back bowl. Luckily, that one didn't touch any bowl, got through the gap without, without any assistance. We're getting closer, is all I can say. Oh, I'm not sure I'm enough. Oh. <laughs> Referee. It's probably too quick now. Oh, it might be all right. Oh. Just touched the bowl. That bowl happened, but for the rest of the game, I don't think anybody, well, certainly, unless they were talking about it in commentary, I don't know. I didn't really think nothing of it. But obviously once we've finished and come off and come out from dinner a little bit wider, I've got loads of requests to go and speak to everybody oh. about this particular bowl. And really, I didn't really think much of it, but then obviously it's been out on all sorts of, all different stuff. But uh, yeah, it's just another, another bowl you play. It was a reasonably good bowl, but yeah, it's kind of um, giving my 15 seconds of fame, if you like, and probably the bowl I'll be remembered for no matter what else I do. Yeah, that was uh, not wide enough at all. Back to the first one, I think. Bit of a wimpy one, that one. I think my fingers, I, I, can't, I, don't, I, I can't stop it. And some would say when you're playing outdoors, don't do it because they fertilise the greens and you horrendous taste in your mouth. But I can't stop licking my fingers. I've got none really other than that. Probably doesn't look very great licking your fingers before you play. Still quick. It will be dark by the time we're done, I think. Kind of realised that it had, well, hopefully done some good for the game, really, because all the publicity, that's, that's what we need as a sport, you know, to attract people in watching and sponsors in and TV stuff. We, we just want to play, you know, in front of, um, you know, big crowds. Right, it's a decent track. Weight didn't feel too bad. Coming in, oh, weight was good, but I was a bowl tight. No excuses, I've got to get it right. The perfect bowl's always nice, but on average, you're just looking to get as many bowls as close as you can to help, you know, as a team. You know, so, you, know you can get off a bowl to make a bowl perfect. Getting them perfect all the time always isn't easy, as I'm showing. Better line. Steady, steady. Oh, it's quick again. I've gone from short to heavy now. I don't like not getting it right. Winning can be immaterial, but getting something right, I do like to have things right. Even tile in the kitchen, I like to have it right. Wrong track. Fine line between right and wrong. Pace was good as well. Better track. Can I be the right pace this time? Can I be the right pace? Oh. That, that could be as close as I'm going to get today, I think. <laughs> Don't know, that was about 20, 25 goes. Didn't quite get perfection, but uh, got pretty close. So come down and uh, 
give it a go and see how you get on with beating it all.